Paul Kane from his midfield marking role and Paul McStay into attack. Callum Milne starts only his second first team match this season for Hibs. The 22-year-old defender could well be used in a marking role. The shock in that Celtic lineup is the absence of Joe Miller, who's relegated to the bench alongside Lex Bailey. Anton Rogan's also out, and the players coming in to freshen up the side are Derek White, Tommy Barnes, and Billy Stark in what looks like a 4-4-2 line. But the good news for Celtic is that Mark McGee has passed a fitness test to join Frank McAvenny in attack. So it's a perfect night for football, and something has to give tonight. Hibs on a run of 11 games without defeat, and Celtic have gone 21 matches without defeat. So to qualify for the quarterfinals, one of those records must go. And in the evidence of Sunday, no one really could be certain. Hibs having home advantage, but Celtic with that magnificent record in Scottish Cup replays. The long ball followed carefully by Graham Mitchell, followed by McAvenny. There's McStay racing to win possession, tackled by his former clubmate, Alan Stedden. Throw quickly taken towards McAvenny, handball against McAvenny. Referee Bob Valentine right on the spot. Well, the free kick will be taken by Andy Gorham, who's already got a magnificent record in goal for him, but it doesn't shut out so far. Celtic throw will be taken by Derek White. Milne playing it inside, straight to Stark. Mitchell good across to cover Derek White. Good piece of defending by Mitchell, but he had to concede the corner kick to Celtic. Paul McStay is going across to take it. That suggests an in-swinger. Mick McCarthy going in to pressurise Andy Gorham. The low one played towards McAvenny. McStay has a second chance. Had it away by Sneddon. Here's Peter Grant. Gordon's lofting it in. Ray missed it. There's Stark. It came off Gordon Ray. Some hopeful appeal to the Celtic fans for handball against Ray. Certainly couldn't have been intentional at that range. And Celtic at the corner. McCarthy the target once again. And off the top of the crossbar, Andy Gorham was scrambling for a moment. And that was nearly an own goal. Gone for yet another corner kick as Celtic maintain the pressure. There's the corner kick. And there's the header over the top there from Gordon Hunter. And that was a let off for Gorham. And back in by Grant. An offside flag up on the near side. So some welcome respite for the Hibs defence. Derek White races back to his defensive position. Mitchell with a long pass intended for Mickey Weir. That's a great ball to Weir. He's away from White. Coming inside, couldn't get away from McCarthy. So a throw to Hibbs on the far side. Ball gains head flick. There's McCarthy. Gordon Hunter's header. Aiken going across the Hibs attack to clear. That's good play from Weir. Good control in a tight position, but losing out in the end. Mark McGee's pass. And Grant, now McAvenny trying the long ball to Billy Stark on the near side. Cut off easily by Snedden. It's one for Evan to chase. He has the legs of McCarthy. And the big tender half did well. A full stretch to play that away. But here's Collins. Winning possession for him. John Collins going all the way. And the final shot carried little venom. But Collins showing his strength, winning that challenge with Morris. Then coming inside for the shot at goal. Well covered by Bonham.
Kane lifting it forward. Back and well by McCarthy. There's Snedden. That goes McStay. Gone, lofting it towards McAvenny. Well beaten here by Ray. This is Grant. No McStay. McGee. Helping out on for McAvenny. Good play from Celtic. And a good effort on the run from Frank McAvenny, who looks very lively indeed up front for Celtic. The pass first time from Mark McGee. Look at the pace there of McAvenny. And the first time shot cut off well by Gorham. Pushed by Paul Kane on Mick McCarthy, picked up by referee Valentine. McAvenny offering lots of movement up front for Celtic. McCarthy three kick towards McGee. As well won by Ray. And that wasn't far away from Paul McStay. A snapshot under pressure. It came from the free kick from McCarthy, headed out by Gordon Ray, and it was McStay going in to block the clearance from Milne, which set up the chance. Derek White heading it forward. Bond nods it on, looks for the return from McAvenny, but Mitchell's across once again for him. With Weir, an ambitious ball looking for all. It's picked up now by McStay. And the weight on the pass was wrong for Chris Morris. The throw will go to Celtic. Came off Paul Kane. There's Morris once again. Collins wins it. Or bringing it down. Evans going up early, but McCarthy judged it well for Celtic. There's Grant. Ray's header. Good challenge by Evans. All very untidy once again in midfield. I'll top it up now to Kane. The pass from Sneddon. Kane is weird on the right. Good defensive play, though, by Derek White. Holding Hibbs up. Now it's with Weir. Milne going inside, and you can see him try to chip that to the far top corner. Well, the youngster showing great presence of mind here. The ball broke to him, he sidestepped his man, looked up for the left foot to try to play that beyond Bonner, and it was just too high. Hunter's header. Right steering spine door. Or has to go back. Using Mitchell, and Mitchell, I think, will use Andy Gorham. Good throw out that, a crisp, fast throw to Sneddon. Now Evans on the ground. Battling fiercely with Aiken. And conceding a free kick to Celtic. Well, Aiken did not appreciate that challenge from Evans, nor did referee Valentine. Carthy's free kick, crisply struck towards Billy Stark. McGee goes across to win it for Celtic. And Morris. McAvenny helps it on and Barnes couldn't reach it. Great chance that for Celtic, it's not over yet. Here's Barnes. Back to White. Gordon blocks it. And it's off the top of the crossbar. The best attack of the match without question. Very quite denied by brilliant goalkeeping. Tommy Barnes went back to retrieve that from Neil Orr. Slack defending by Orr. Barnes did well setting it up for White. The shot was blocked. And the second effort hit the top of the bar. Stay and Collins together. Good play again from McStay. Here's Evans. Taken out of the play by Roy Aiken. And there will be trouble for the Celtic captain. Without question. Well, was there a touch of retaliation about that from Aiken after the recent furious battles with Gareth Evans? The referee is content to give a word of warning. Now, here's what that's all about. 
Nevin gave the ball first. And caught late there by Aiken. And Roy Aiken, but up the shade, forced it not to be shown the yellow card. Mitchell's free kick. Goes McCarthy. It breaks for Kane. It was handballed by Kane. Right in front of the referee's eyes. Huge kick out that from Bonner. Well judged by Ray. Here's Mickey Weir. Now Collins waits for Snedden. Collins again under pressure from McStay. And from Grant. It was a Grant challenge that made the difference, but Collins still battling furiously for it. So is Paul Kane. That's laid into the path of Mickey Weir. And a foul by White. Hefty one at that on Mickey Weir. The referee Valentine, I think this time, is going to take out the yellow card. Well, Derek White may consider himself a little bit unfortunate, I think, over that. Beaten by the speed and the skill of Mickey Weir, going in late with the challenge, and that didn't appear to be in any way worse than the recent challenge by Roy Aiken. The young Derek White is booked. Mickey Weir is none the worse and Hibbs have a free kick. There's Neil Orr. Well claimed by Bonner. Lots of players in the box. Bonner had to take that cleanly. Bouncing ball, challenged by McAvenny. There's McGee with a first time snapshot. Back with Grant for Celtic. We're into the closing minute of a hectic first half. Here's Grant again. Easing the ball away from Weir to Barnes. And Evans again doing good work up front for him. Keeping the pressure on the Celtic defenders. This is Derek White. Headed away by Mitchell to McStay. Weir couldn't reach it. Hunter did, but he had to concede the throw on the far side. So we're now going into time added on for stoppages in the first half, but there was none of that. Referee Bob Valentine brings a fast and furious first half to an end. No goals at all. The closest coming shortly before half time when Tommy Burns set up the chance for Derek White, which was just a great save from Andy Gorham. The rebound clipping the top of the crossbar. So the half time score at Easter Road is Hibs nil. Celtic nil, will be between Hibs and Celtic. That first half certainly wasn't for anyone with a nervous disposition. Hectic activity right from the start, without any real opportunity for any of the skillful players in view to settle on the ball and spray passes around. The tackling was too quick and too tough for that. Now let's see if the pattern changes at all in this second half. A very interested spectator, Kenny Dalglish, the Liverpool manager. And I wonder what he makes for the Scottish game after his absence from Celtic. Interspearance giving Morris a bit of time to develop something for Celtic. Here's Billy Stark. Barnes. Next day couldn't find space, challenged by Collins. Breaks from the head of McStay to start. This is White. Now McStay. Looking for McGee. It was cut off well by Hunter. And a fine save from Gorham in the end. Some casualness creeping into that hip defence. Callum Milne taking some stick from his captain, Gordon Ray. Played inside there by Hunter. Ray and Milne in a misunderstanding. And what a fine effort that was from Andy Gorham. Carthy's header, here's Barnes again. Firmly tackled by Hunter. Good pass that from Grant to McAvenny. He has White on the overlap. White to the far side, that's Billy Stark! Straight into the side netting, but what a great move that was from Celtic. McAvenny setting it up, good running by White. 
long deep cross the first time Bully and Gorham saw it into the side netting Collins takes over for him switching play to the right to Hunter Weir made an angle well for Hunter and won the throw off Derek White Hunter to Ray that's well taken by McStay now McAvenny through the legs and the first time shot well taken again by Gorham and McAvenny a restless lively striker cashing in on this error from Ray initially some superb play by Paul McStay playing it into the path of McAvenny through the legs of Mitchell and the shot first time well taken by Gorham Put under pressure by Kane, that's Morris. Ray's header. Good leap by Morris again, but the header goes straight to Milne. This is Weir. And Derek White did well with that challenge after some superb bit of piece of play from Mickey Weir. Weir goes again to win it for Milne. That's Hunter. Oh, well played by Hunter. White lofting it high in the air. Well, Ray, Mary Gret letting that bounce. Getting away in the end. Beyond Weir, though, to Stark. There's Evans, brought down by Stark. That looks to be a free kick. Yes, referee Bob Valentine gives the decision to Hibbs. to the far side to Sneddon good recovery by Collins now Ray Hunter an easy one for Aiken Hunter once again an offside flag is up it's against Paul Kane So a free kick to Celtic. McCarthy demonstrating once again his ability to strike the dead ball very cleanly indeed. McAvery beaten this time by Ray. Here's Evans. Good pass from Milne. Here's Mickey Weir. McCarthy comes across. Milne made the forward run. That's good play by Milne. Still has Weir available on the right. A flash off the ball between Milne and Aiken as Weir goes inside the box. Brought down by White. And the penalty claim is waved aside. Well, that certainly was controversial. Mickey Weir racing into the box and pulled down. Referee Bob Valentine not interested in the claim. There's Bonner's punch out. The danger not yet over. And Bonner falls on the ball in the end. Collins going in fiercely. Chris Morris gets upset. And if anything, things hotting up even more here at Easter Road. So we'll have to be able to calm things down. But really, that was a very controversial moment. Now, Mickey Weir coming inside, going in past Derek White, going into the box. Now, for my money, that was a clear penalty kick. Here's Tommy Barnes. Once again, it's Morris. Start. With a grant playing it wide. Collins couldn't quite reach it. Here's Paul McStay. Holding off Kane. Going all the way himself. Brought down at the edge of the box. And this time it's the Celtic players who are upset with referee Valentine for not giving a penalty kick. Forcing run from Paul McStay. Straight into the box. Down he went. And the referee right on the spot to wave play on. But here was McStay making something out of very little at the edge of the box. Charging forward. And indeed that could easily have been a penalty kick to Celtic. Came off the head of White. Not quite what Morris intended, but it worked out all right. Reaching Billy Stark. Here's Gordon Ray in, in front of McGee. Good layoff that from Stark. First time to Grant. 
Bombs helped it on to White. He knew the fullback was on the run. Now Grant again. Stay close to the ball inside. Here's Tommy Bonds. Delightful chip. Mitchell was there. Here's Billy Stark. Off the line by Orr. And Hibbs living dangerously but surviving. His rear end possession. Trying to make headway. And fouled in the end by Frank McAvenny. Another hectic burst of action and Celtic coming very close indeed once again. Look at the pass from McStay. A delightful ball that from Tommy Bond, headed away by Mitchell. Look at the way Stark kicked this back inside and the clearance from Neil Orr was very accurate indeed. And now the change being made by Celtic Joe Miller, a welcome figure for the Celtic fans, going on to replace Mark McGee who struggled to overcome injury to play in this match. So Miller for McGee and an injection of pace into that Celtic attack. Well, 20 minutes left for Joe Miller to make an impact. Unless, of course, there's an extra half hour if the teams remain level after 90 minutes. Another piece of marvellous play from Paul McStay and the foul to the back by Neil Orr will result in trouble for the Hibs midfield player. And the booking will be administered now to Neil Orr. He has no complaint at all. And this was the result of absolutely superb play from Paul McStay once again. He's had a magnificent match for Celtic tonight. Extricating himself from that tight corner, sprinting away from Orr, and there's a calculated foul from the back, which has resulted in the yellow card for Neil Orr. Paul McStay appears on the wash. Burns and Aiken over the free kick. Burns takes it. Right to the far side for McCarthy to return it. And clearly not a winger's cross that from Mick McCarthy. It's gone over for the Hibs goal kick. Kane's header. Here's Evans with Tortolano on the outside. He's very quick indeed, Tortolano. Trying to hit the byline. Morris making sure that he doesn't. And Celtic had the throw. It came off Tortolano in the end. He's a menacing figure on that left flank where he builds up steam, Joe Tortolano. Flying from West Bromwich Albion for Hibs. Done by Stark towards Mitchell. Neil Orr. Back with Stark. Morris towards Barnes. Joe Miller playing the ball away. The two smallest players in the field, I think. Miller and Weir clashing with feet up. And dangerous play against Weir. Well, this is quite intriguing. Miller and Weir, and clearly put up by Mickey Weir. A correct decision by the referee, giving the indirect free kick to Celtic. McCarthy dumps it into the box, looking for Tommy Barnes. Breaks down for Miller, well tackled by Ray. And Weir getting a little bit overzealous with the challenge on Derek White. Free kick to Celtic. Taking shot to Joe Miller. Back with Barnes. Here's Peter Grant for Celtic. The underside of the crossbar. And in from Billy Stark. 12 minutes from the end. Celtic take the lead. Billy McNeil is up to reorganise. What an incredible strike that was to beat Andy Gorham. Billy Stark takes all.
point test position now for Celtic. It's gone beyond Joe Miller, a throw to him. The referee looking at his watch. The whistle will go at any minute now. Referee Bob Valentine has controlled a very tough match, very well indeed. And the action is almost over unless Hibbs can snatch a dramatic late equaliser. They've barely got enough time to get the ball into the box. There goes the final whistle. Celtic are the winner.